Hey, what's going on, people? Bear Fox here, and welcome back to the simplest ever guide to overclock your graphics card to improve your PCs or gaming performance in one single go. In this video, I'm going to be using all of the safest methods to overclock your graphic card so you do not accidentally damage it or reduce the lifespan of your graphic card. So make sure to watch it till the end. Also, leave your GPU specs down in the comments below so I can reply to each one of you individually. And with all that said, let's get started. Alright, step number one is having these two applications as a prerequisite to overclock your graphics card safely. For that, you need to go to the link in the description below and get yourself the MSI Afterburner as well as the MSI Combustor. I have given a link down to both of them in the description below, so make sure to go and download them. Alright, now you have Afterburner. What you need to do is get your GPU drivers updated. I use an NVIDIA graphics card. It could be different for you, so you need to find your graphic card drivers. Now, if you are an NVIDIA user, you need to go and open up the GeForce Experience app or you can download it from their website as well. I'll be leaving a link to this in the description below, so go check it out. Once you see any updates possible over here, simply click on download and make sure to install them. Before overclocking your graphics card, you need to make sure that your GPU is using the real-time graphics drivers. Once you've downloaded and opened up your afterburner, it should look like this. It is a very simple skin, but if your afterburner doesn't look like mine, what you can do is find this settings gear on your UI and basically click on it, go over to the rightmost setting to the user interface, and then select the M your afterburner skin it is included in the latest update of your afterburner so make sure to apply it press and apply and click on ok okay so now your skin looks like mine what you need to do is press on this combustor icon and it should open up a window like this you need to select your afterburner screen and put it on the top right section and your msi combustor you need to select the resolution of it i would suggest you guys to go with 800 by 600 and then for the stress test, you need to select Firmark MSI with a GL1 and then simply click on Run Stress Test. This will open up this single window right in front of you. You then need to put it on the bottom left section and you can see my desktop background is starting to lag. But that is just because my graphic card is now on 100% utilization, almost. So once you are here, you need to look on a few things in the screen. First one is your GPU temperature. Second one is the speed of your GPU. Third one is the utilization of your GPU. And lastly is the GPU power. As you guys can see right now, I'm limited to 100% of the TDP. So if you want better performance, I would always suggest you guys to scroll this power limit and the temperature limit to the maximum. This won't damage your GPU in any case. So make sure to do it and then click on this apply button. Right over here, you can see my current GPU power is exceeding 100%. So now I'm using almost 95% of my GPU and I'm getting somewhere around 376 FPS. Now, you also need to make sure that your temperature over here on the bottom left section doesn't rise above 85 degrees Celsius. So if it is under 85 degrees Celsius, everything is under control. But if it is crossing 85 degrees Celsius, you need to lower down your power limit a bit just to make sure that it doesn't harm your GPU. Now you need to adjust your fan speed. Fan speed can be really irritating if you're using an older graphics card because the fans makes a lot of noise. Now, if you're using your graphics card on the maximum limits, I would always suggest you to click on this A button and that should remove your fan auto speed. Now, you need to set the automatic limit of your fan speed to somewhere between 75 to 90 just to make sure that your graphic card is cooled down. Even if I set my GPU fan speed to 90, I don't hear a lot of sound. But for some PCs, you can hear a lot of noises, so you need to make sure to set it somewhere between 75 to 90, but not lower than 75, since you're going to be using a lot of power and putting a lot of load on your GPU. So just ensure that you're using this fan speed limit. And as you guys can see, with just a few tweaks, I'm already up to 377 constant FPS with 94% of my GPU usage and my GPU temperatures is below 75 degrees Celsius. Now you need to improve the speed of your FPS. Once you've got everything in control over here, you can start changing your core clock and memory clock. But before moving ahead, listen to this. Do not change your core voltage. 
do not mess with it it's gonna mess up your gpu very badly leave it as it is it can be blurred out for most of you guys do not change it if it is possible to, for you to change it do not touch it our core clock is the utilization of your cores on your gpu your gpu is made out of cuda cores and these core clock is the speed of your CUDA cores. You need to increase it to improve your GPU performance. Let's start by increasing the ticks in tens. Once you apply 10 extra core clock, you need to press on this tick mark and you need to look at the speed of your rendering. Now, as you guys can see, it has gone a little bit above 375. Now it is touching up to 382 FPS. Now you can set it to 20 and then press on this apply button. Once again, now I'm hitting like 380 plus FPS I can see over here now it's going up to 383 now you can just increase it by another 40 and press enter and press on this take mark now as you guys can see it is even crossing 383 FPS and going above up to 386 right over there I can see just don't mind the dipping because it is possible that I'm recording my screen right now and I don't see the much high FPS because I'm recording at the same time but it is increasing my FPS bit by bit if I go up like to 80 or 90 let's say 80 we put it and apply over here you can see my GPU utilization is going up to 96% and my speed is over 390 FPS now also you need to make sure to keep a note on your gpu temperature it should not be exceeding over 80 or 85 degrees celsius and now once you find the sweet spot of fps that you're looking for for me it is like 140 core clock so as soon as i apply it and i click over here you can see this little stutter that is going on my screen it means that my gpu is now unstable and i should not increase my limit above it so if you are going to play games on this core clock there are high chances that your game might crash or the performance is lower so what you need to do is take off a bit of the core clock so you had that extra headroom on top so even if your gpu uses more core clock or it overclocks it automatically you do not lose your display so just press 120 or 110 for that matter it should be 30 or 40 less than the original value and as soon as i'm done with that you can see the msi logo is still stuttering a bit that means i'm just a little bit over the top that i can use so i'm gonna bring it down to 100 and press on apply and with that you can see now my msi logo is completely fine and this my friend the 100 extra core clock is giving me extra 10 to 12 fps but if you are dissatisfied with this we also have the memory clock now memory clock is like your gpu has a vram a vram is a virtual ram on your graphics card you might have heard that your graphic card is 4 GB, 8 GB, 16 GB, 2 GB, it could be anything. My graphic card personally is 8 GB. It could be anything for you. So memory clock is the utilization of that memory. Now you need to increase this memory by 20 ticks every time. So extra 20 added. Now you can see this is working completely fine. I'm getting around 389, 390 FPS easily. Now I can increase it a little bit more so I can just go like 40 press enter and look at my fps once again this time it is touching a little bit right over 391 382 383 let us go a little bit over 100 straight up just to check out if everything is working fine so 100 extra memory clock and i'm still running fine i'm running at like 388 fps but you guys can see now if i'm upgrading my memory clock it is just decreasing my fps a little bit like one or two percent extra difference in my fps even though it is hitting 391 at the top uh, you can even try putting like 140 memory clock press enter and come back to check your speed and it should be giving you a stable fps now now as you guys can see it's not dipping it to 370 now it's consistently over 380 and 390 so this is what we are looking for right over here and if i maximize the screen just to show you guys the fps now this is what i get on 1080p it's going to be giving me 180 fps so this is what i can expect while gaming so right now i'm utilizing 96 percent of my gpu and my gpu temperature is 80 degrees celsius 
degrees which is right at the edge but even if 80 degrees it's not too high it's okay everything is bad above 85 degrees celsius so until you are 85 degrees you are good and Considering that we are getting 80 degrees Celsius on 96% GPU usage, I think that it is pretty nice because even when you're playing the games, you're not utilizing 96% of your GPU. So once again, you're going to be getting much over the 183 FPS. And here is a real time example of how overclocking helped me to gain extra FPS. So that right there guys was the easiest way to overclock your graphics card without damaging its life or the component itself. Don't worry, even if you go a little bit above your core clock, it won't crash your PC, it won't put your GPU on fire. You just need to make sure that your temperatures are not over 80 degrees. In the worst case scenario, your monitor will go off, your CPU will turn off, but once again, if you boot it up, it will open up in the safe mode and your GPU and your CPU will be intact. Just make sure not to cross this limit too many times because it can break your operating system and put you into BSODs, which you do not really want so if you get an error once just try to avoid that value keep it below that value as below as you can i would suggest you guys to keep minus 30 or minus 40 difference between the top value that you can get so guys i hope this video might have helped you out if it did make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button down below we'll see you guys in another video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out